guys, welcome back to Samojo Homestead. Today, I am going to be finally planting out my green stalk. I've been really going back and forth on what I want to do in this green stalk, and it's gotten pretty late in the season. So it kind of got to the point where it was like, put something in it or don't do it at all this year. So what I'm gonna do is a little combination of food and beauty. So we're gonna do that today on this video if you guys are new with us thank you so much for joining along and we invite you to hit that subscribe button and become a part of the youtube family that's what we like to consider you guys when you hit that subscribe if you've already done that we thank you so much for doing that and we really do appreciate each and every one of you who are a part of this youtube family if you have any questions on the green stalk feel free to leave them in the comments below we will definitely get back to you with any advice or knowledge or anything that we know uh, from experience on using these things. Now, this is the third year that we have had the green stalk, and I honestly have mixed feelings on them, but overall, I like them. It's a great concept and a great way to grow a lot of food if you're planting vegetables in them in a very, very, very compact space, about a two foot by two foot space. So. I want to go ahead and get my stuff in, so let's get started. Alright, so what am I planting in the green stalk this year? Like I said, wanted to do a little mixture of food and beauty, so I picked up some flowers, some just kind of cheap per or annuals, and <clears throat> gonna mix them in. So we have some ping pong lavender, which is not lavender, it's actually lavender ping pong. Um, just kind of a fun plant that really does do a good job of attracting the pollinators and it looks like little purple ping pong balls so that'll be fun in there and then i got a petunia and portrilaca now portrilaca is great because it doesn't require a lot of water so it's not going to take a lot of water um well, that's not normally a problem in the green stalks but truth be told we're not always the best at like staying on top of watering. So whenever I plant mine, I always do make sure that I'm planting it with stuff that is going to be okay if it goes through a dry period, you know, if I forget or something like that. So I'm going to space these out and then we will plant the food section of it. So when I'm doing different things in the green stalk, I kind of like to place them in the pockets so that I know, kind of have an idea of what it will look like before I just start plopping stuff in. Um, the, one cool thing with the green stalks is you can get really really creative you could do like a spiral of color going up or just kind of mix it in or even columns um, tons of different options tons of different ways if you're planting different things in there and you can really create kind of a showpiece or centerpiece for the area that the green stalk is in by using it creatively in what you plant and how you plant it The food part of this whole thing are, of course, peppers. Guys, I'm beginning to just embrace the fact that I am obsessed with peppers. <laughs> but there is a certain type of pepper that I am putting in this green stalk. So all of these are miniature peppers. So not necessarily plant size, but the actual pepper size. So I've got um, a couple of lunchbox orange peppers. Uh, gypsy sweet peppers. I think there's a lunchbox yellow or red. There we go. And maybe that was it. Gypsy. Oh, I did sneak in one shishito. So uh, that one will definitely be planted at the top because the intent is to have all of these snacking peppers right here at the garden gate for the kids and for us. But the kids really like these small ones, especially our oldest daughter, Sayla. She loves coming out, picking uh, several, like a handful and eating them for lunch. So um, that's what I wanted to do. I didn't want her to have to go all the way into the garden and try to find them. And so having them right here at the green stalk at the gate will make it convenient and easy for her to find. So one thing that I wanted to show you guys, and a lot of people talk about this, but I did get these from Lowe's, um, but I w purposely went through and looked for all the ones that had two plants growing. So they will start seeds, like most of us, uh, with more than one seed just to ensure that they're getting germination. 
And a lot of times, if both of those come up, they don't necessarily get thinned out. They'll plant them, they sell them as one plant. So I'm gonna be separating these to get as many as I needed. So I only had to buy one, two, three, four, five, six, seven plants to get, I think I was going for 11 or 13, somewhere in there. But nonetheless, uh, only had to buy seven and I'm getting almost double. Not all of them had two plants, but almost double. That's kind of like a BOGO buy one get one free but I'm gonna go ahead and get these in the green stalk and see how well I can get them separated so I realized I forgot to film like the whole last part of this video so we're gonna do that now <laughs> uh, welcome back a few days later did get the green stalk planted and it is really looking good there were a couple of those pepper plants that I split that I was kind of questioning how well they were gonna do but they have all done well they didn't even really go through a wilting period, which really surprised me, but is really good. So it is planted. I am excited to see what type of food we're gonna get off of this, how many peppers we're gonna get. Uh, like I said, everything is looking really good and I love the mixture of the flowers and the peppers in there together, especially once those peppers start producing and we have all the colors of the peppers as well so that is pretty much it for the green stalk planting <laughs> not much but uh yeah as far as the green stalk itself um, i mentioned at the beginning of this video that for the most part i really like it and honestly guys the parts that i'm a little bit like eh on are 100 on me like i had mentioned earlier in the video admittedly not always the best at keeping it watered that is one thing that i have found you really have to stay on top of making sure you're keeping this watered like any potted plant because it is exposed on all sides which means it will dry out faster especially as these plants mature and take in more water so just make sure you're watering it i mean at least every other day ideally probably every day depending on what you have planted in there and also the composition of your soil as well. That's gonna go a long way in how often you're having to water it. One thing I do like about that in that sense is because it's stacked, it does kind of help to keep water in there a little bit longer and delay that evaporation rate that sometimes you'll get in bigger, more open pots. But uh, as far as growing food in it or flowers or anything, Things seem to grow really, really well in here. And again, I love the look of just this solid green column of food and flowers or whatever you got in there, plants that this thing gives. So we're going to eagerly await that and we will definitely keep you guys updated on how this thing is doing and how it is filling in. Thank you guys for joining me. I really appreciate all of you who support us on here. Hope you guys have a great week and be blessed.